Hello friends, welcome to my channel, or back to my channel as the case may be. Please excuse my voice, it is a little scratchy today, but I mean, it's what happens. Today we're going to relay the myth of how Bean Woman finds her husband. It's a Seneca myth from the northeastern United States, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Long ago, in a village by the river, the people once heard singing. And the words that they heard were this. Who will marry me? As they watched and listened, they discovered it was Bean Woman who was singing for a husband. As she continued singing, a suitor presented themselves. Her first suitor was Panther. He arrived and said, I will marry you. But Bean Woman had a question. If we marry, what food will you bring me to eat? And Panther replied, knowing his prowess in hunting, I will bring you the finest meat that you are never hungry. And she said, alas, Panther, I cannot eat that food so I will not marry you. The second suitor to hear Bean Woman's song was Deer. Deer came forward and said, then I shall marry you. But Bean Woman had a question for him as well. If I marry you, what shall you bring me to eat? And Deer said, I shall bring you succulent buds and the softest bark of trees. And Bean Woman said, I have never had that food before. I shall not marry you. A third time, Bean Woman sang out, Who will marry me? This time it was Bear who heard her song, and he came professing, I will marry you. Bean Woman asked the same question. If we were to marry, what food would you bring me? And Bear replied, I have nuts aplenty that I have stored. And I am a great fisher, so I would bring you fish. Bean Woman shook her head and said, This is not the food I require, and so I cannot marry you. Singing out again, she cried in a loud voice, Oh, is there anyone who shall marry me? Another suitor soon arrived. This time it was Wolf. Wolf said, I shall marry you. Bean Woman responded in a similar fashion to the others. If we were to marry, what food would you bring me? Wolf soon responded, I shall bring you venison. You shall have no lack of food during winter, for I shall hunt for you. But Bean Woman responded, I do not want venison. I cannot marry you. Again, she sang for him. Oh, is there any husband for me? Is there anyone to whom I can marry? This time, Corn arrived, and he said, I am willing to marry you, if you wilt have me. Bean Woman smiled at this, and asked, If I were to marry you, what food would you bring me? If we wed, you shall have sweet corn always. Bean Woman smiled again, for this was the answer she had desired all along. And so she accepted Corn's proposal. Corn lifted his arms and said, Then come to me, my wife. So she ran to him and threw her arms around his neck. And that is how we see them even to this day with bean vines steadily climbing, holding close to their husband, the tall corn stalk. If you enjoyed this retelling, please leave a like, comment if you have any suggestions for other myths I might relay, and until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye!